Oh, cool. I haven't seen this. Mitch, coach said the other day he wants to play you more and, and he wants to play the bench more. And he did both of those things tonight. And obviously, you made him look good for that. Was was that in the game plan? Did you know you'd get out there more and, and be able to extend some minutes tonight? Um, uh, we, we, had, we had talked. Um, I obviously don't go to, or grow to expect and think I'm deserving of anything. Um, I'm trying to go out there and give my team the best chance to win. And uh, I was able to do that tonight, and I was pretty excited about it. You and, I mean, Dave both had success. you and Dave both seem to have a lot of success in that first half. Was something about the matchup that, that made that work and, and you guys just kind of feasted down there? Yeah, I mean, I think they, they're, they're a good team. Uh, don't, don't let tonight fool you. Um, they're, they're a good team and uh, they're well coached. And I think, that, uh, I think that me and Dave walked in in scouting report and we had a good week of practice or a good couple of days of practice leading up to this. And uh, uh, it, showed, it showed out there today. Hey Mitch, what do you like more, stepping in and taking a charge like you did or when you can sky up for one of those blocks and, and spike it off the backboard? I mean, they're both, they're both pretty fun. I mean, basketball-wise, a charge is for sure change of possession and a foul on them. But a block, they have an opportunity to get the ball back. So uh, I would have to say the charge because it's for sure your ball. And, and then you kind of talked about David McCormick just a second ago. Seems like he's getting closer maybe to, to kind of figuring some things out. Where, where do you think he is um, with maybe how he started the season to where he is now? I, I think, I think he, uh, he's gotten through some stuff. I mean, he obviously didn't, didn't come out like he, like he wanted to. And uh, he's worked so hard. And like I've, I've been around him. And there's not many guys that has worked as hard as he has. And, uh, and I think he, de he deserves to, to play well. And I think he, he'll give himself the opportunity to play well. So I, I think, he, I think he's, he's, getting, he's, right, he's getting there. He's right there. Are you guys trying to get a two for one when, when you hit your three pointer? Yeah, I heard Coach yell two for one. And I didn't know how much time was on the clock, so I just uh, we trying to get it off as fast as possible. It probably bothered you a lot that you had to shoot that, right? I was totally broken up over it. <laughs> Mitch, did Coach Self tell you anything after your first half or after the game about your performance? He uh, just said you're playing well. Keep keep it up. Um, what I tried to do, and uh, I, th I think uh, it was important to see the other the other guys that have not might, might not have played as many minutes to get out there and uh, play some of those minutes and get their confidence. And uh, it was cool to see everybody score tonight. Um, guys like Latrell and Jethro and, and Dave – and not David, uh, Chris, really, really, really out there, and they, they played well. And how were you able to exercise that patience over the first few games of the season? Um, I, have total, I have total faith in Coach Self. Uh, I, I, uh, I trust him, and I understand that there, there is a process, and there are, there are certain times where certain, uh, certain lineups work better than others, and um, if that, that means we're going to win, then I'll take it. Hey, what did you see out of Ota tonight, kind of bouncing back from his scoreless night uh, against Creighton? Uh, um, I think, yeah, he, he bounced back really well. Uh, you got you to gotta think about it. His attitude never changed the entire time. Uh, that's just a testament to the kind of kid he is and how he was raised. Um, he, he kept that same energy and that same – his same vibe the entire, the entire time and uh, happy to see him play, play well tonight. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him play in our next game. Is he more versatile as a scorer than he's ever been at this point? Yeah, I think I, I think when you first first saw him when he first came out there, he's more of, more of a slashing type, and now now he can really shoot the ball and can really get can get a shot off the bounce, uh, whether that be pull ups, step backs, uh, stuff like that, that that really expand his game and help us uh, expand and help us stretch the floor. Mitch, with your Sunday game called off, uh, it's obviously the last tune up before Tech, and I mean, did that go into tonight at all? Just knowing that everybody needed to kind of get on that same page and and put one together before conference play I think everybody understood that I mean it, it's it stinks that we're not gonna be able to play but uh we're, we're being as safe as safe as we can and uh going out there and playing our best ball tonight was going to be in our best interest and everybody out there wanted to to give coach a look at uh how we can how we can play and the ability we have so I, th I think it, I think it's uh it's good that we played well tonight Mitch what do you see as your role when you're in um I think my role is to give us energy uh, like they like they said, I need I need to help us uh, get extra possessions, uh, score when I needed to score, uh, offensive rebounds, and 
set good screens and run to the rim. Anything else, guys? Thanks, man.